Matt here from Herbal House NZ. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Quantum Pass 600 watt by Four Seasons, featuring the Samsung LM301B diodes and meanwhile drivers. So, what you can expect to receive from us here at Herbal House is a beautiful plain brown box. It's actually quite heavy. <laughs> Obviously, looks good nice and tidy and it's going to protect the packaging inside so let's show you what's inside the box okay so hiding on in the box within a box we have the good looking four seasons branded up box looks the part and keeps everything safe of course let's get inside and show you what's going on okay cool so now that we've pulled everything out of the box for the quantum pass 600 watt here i just thought it'd be worth mentioning the packaging that they use they use this really nice foam and it's pretty much encapsulating the entire led keeping it really safe for transport so i just thought it'd be worth showing you guys that now of course you get the most important part which is the 600 watt LED itself. You get a couple of booklets detailing some more information about using the light and setting it up. And of course you get the hanging equipment here. So the hanging equipment I believe is quite a vital part of any light and it should be included with everything. Four seasons do of course. The idea being that you can just string this thing up so easy and adjust the running heights to suit your plants without any care at all. So moving on to the panel itself we're going to start detailing some features. Okay, so starting here with the backside of the Quantum Par LED. Now it's a bit eye-catching, but this new blue anodized color they've gone with looks absolutely fantastic. And is a little more aesthetically pleasing than the original sort of silver or gray that they've always sort of been in the previous generations. So obviously this entire backside here, this is the heat sink itself. Now that is designed to get hot and reject the heat from the diodes, passively cooled of course. So there's no fans, there's no whirring, there's no noise at all. Now, Beyond the blue heatsink, we've got the drivers fitted to the back side of this panel here. Now, they've gone with the Meanwell ELG240 drivers. So in theory, these drivers are actually a little bit oversized, but they're tuned to 600 watts to balance the power. So the drivers aren't completely tapping themselves out. It means that they're gonna stay reliable and work well within their range. Now, you will notice that these drivers are actually spaced just off the back side of the LED there. That's there to ensure that the drivers aren't absorbing much heat from the heatsink and they're able to reject their own heat, keeping themselves running cool. Now, to mention in most cases, people will have airflow within their grow space. All of that adds up to cooling capacity for these panels themselves. What we've found is most people tend to have an oscillating fan or a very high airflow change rate within their grow space. This will help the running temperature of the LED run that little bit cooler, improving a long-term reliability standard. They are designed to run hot, don't get me wrong, they're designed for the Australian climate as well, but a little bit of cooling does help in regards to longevity of components as you'd expect with anything. Moving on from the drivers, we have the dimmer module fitted at the front here. This has got essentially a 10 to 100% linear adjustment across the entire panel. The idea being that at full power, 100%, you're running at 600 watts capacity. Adjusting the dimmer will lower the input wattage of the panel and of course the affected light output and the heat generated. So you can balance these panels as we will cover soon, how much intensity they put out and a suitable height to run them at. Every situation is a little different but they are an incredibly versatile panel, especially with the low profile that they are. They are essentially a heat sink with drivers on the back. Okay, so moving on to the plugs and interconnecting wires. What they've used here is watertight connections that are obviously threaded together to keep them tight and connected. Obviously very high moisture resistance. Absolutely love the way they've carried this out on pretty much all of the Four Seasons Quantum Power range. And the same applies between the dimmer and the power cable. Now just to mention the power cable is roughly 1.5 meters long. It's actually a little bit longer if you include the cable from the drivers, but a very good length cable for most people in their application. Now, where the cables pass through from the driver outputs through to the board, they've used a waterproof gland on all three inputs there. Again, this is a very high moisture rated panel and designed for incredibly high humid environments without any problems. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the panel over and move on to the most important, which is the front face of this panel. Okay, so now we're on the front side of the panel here, which just lift that up so you can see it. Now, you're not going to be looking at this very much when it's installed. This is what your plants are going to see, obviously going to be very bright. But with the panel off now, we can show you what's going on on the front side here. So obviously, it's quite obvious we have six boards laid across these, uh, across this panel, sorry. They are rated at 100 watts each, so that's how they get the 600 watt 
uh, total input value. They've got paired these up, so one driver is running two boards at a time, for the technical information that is. Not many people care about that, but anywho, with the six boards they've laid across here, they have gone for an even spacing across the uh, heatsink, or the blue panel itself. The idea being it's there to maximise on spread for such a compact and intense panel. Now this is, of course, the largest panel that they do in this range, so for a lot of people this might be their go-to if it's within their price bracket. Now, moving on to the diodes themselves, they have the Samsung LM301B in 3000K and 5000K CCT, so that's the colour temperature. The idea being that one is more of a flowering spectrum and one is more of a veg spectrum. When you combine both of those together, you're getting the best of both worlds and you're ending up with a 3500K average. That is right where we like to see it and it works really well. We love the formula that they've used on these panels. It surely impresses, especially from the last generations. So. That's not the only spectrum used across this panel. They have supplemented in Osram 660 reds to enhance the bloom effect. And they've added 3% of 730, which is your far red. The idea being that the far red is there to stimulate the Emerson effect, which you can look into. The idea is that that additional spectrum is gonna help with the flowering result again. So, moving on from the spectrum itself, these boards are completely gel coated, so they are incredibly resistant to moisture, again just emphasising that. And the caps that are connecting the boards via the wiring under there are completely silicon sealed as well. So again, very waterproof and very resistant to toxic environments or high moisture environments. It's going to keep this panel running a long time. Not to mention if this panel does get dirty, you are more than welcome to give it a gentle wipe with a cloth to keep it clean. You don't have to worry about scratching the surface of the diodes, just gently wipe it and you've got no problems at all. Okay, so let's get this 600 watt quantum pass set up in a 1.2 meter tent and get some data for you guys to look at. Okay, so here we have the 600 watt quantum pass set up in a 1.2 by 1.2 polyethylene or as known by the Eclipse series as Polar. Uh, we will be conducting our PPFD test using the Apogee Far Pass sensor and micro cache uh, and that'll be linking with our phone and we'll be plotting a PAR map from there. Let's get started. Okay, so now that we've carried out the PPFD map in the 1.2 meter by 1.2 meter Eclipse Polar tent, that's the polyethylene line tent, we saw an average of 984 U-moles across the entire grow space with a peak of 1450 dead center, or thereabouts in the center beneath the panel. That was setting this panel at 60 centimeters and running it at full power. So that's really high numbers. Uh, when you're sitting at 1450, we highly recommend CO2 supplementing, otherwise you're not gonna make the most of it and you're likely to stress your plants out. There are ways to counteract that, whether it's dimming the panel or lifting the panel higher. We felt it was worth mentioning that this number was a good one to work with when you're getting a 984 average across the grow space. We did also do a quick test and we found when you set the panel to half power, you're sitting at about 574 average. So that's just half power on the dimmer there, but it gives you some information to work with. Generally, most people are looking to pump as much power as they can into their plants and supplementing CO2 is recommended at that stage. So for the panel itself, we did some quick measurements at 65 centimetres by 75 centimetres. It's quite a compact panel for how grunty it is. Like we said, you could squeeze this in a one by one if you had to. For a lot of people, it's a comparison between this and the Helios range. Now these panels, while they are incredibly powerful, they are more compact than the Helios. So those are the two defining differences. Both work incredibly well and share the same spectrum, but for a lot of people, they need something a bit smaller that's gonna fit in a tight spot. That's what these are absolutely fantastic for. And of course, they are a little bit higher rated for moisture, again. So, with that being said, we found this to be an incredibly good panel, especially for its price point. At 600 watts these days, that is a really powerful unit. So we absolutely love seeing this thing perform, and we think our customers are going to be absolutely thrilled when using these. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, give us a call or get in touch at Herbals. Thank you.